Hello, everybody. Welcome along to episode three of Zoomy Groom season two. How have you been? It feels like so long ago since we were last here. Um, but yeah, it wasn't that long ago. Seven days. Uh, but this is Zoomy Groom. This is the isolating dating show. Uh, if you are looking for love during lockdown, this is a place to be. Every week we're going to be here with four singles and they're going to go on three 90 second speed dates. And we're going to stream the whole thing live for you to watch. Uh, and let's see, let's see what we come up with. I mean, it's all always seemed to have some food based themes going on. It are we going to reach the heights of episodes one, which your favorite Jolly Rancher, or episode two's bacon? I like bacon. Who knows? Who knows what it's going to be like? Um, but as I say, every contestant we have on, they'll go on three speed dates, at least three speed dates, and at the end of that, they're going to see, they're going to choose who they're going to give their golden heart to. Who are they going to potentially go on a second date with? Like, we just need to find out. We're going to need to wait and find out. As I said, four amazing contestants coming up. Really looking forward to tonight's show. A um, couple of little changes uh, that, that, we're, that we're going to find out about a wee bit later on when we catch up with Hannah. Um, but it's, it's only right that we find out exactly what happened last week on episode two. What's your favourite food? Oh, man. Uh, I like it simple, so I like bacon. Bacon. <laughs> Let's get making love. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite joke is something about a gorilla and a kebab, but I can't remember the punchline. It's something about a kebab, but I, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know that joke. Actually, auditions for The Voice. All right. Cool. Who are you giving your golden heart to? Demi, you obviously. Had... Oh, Demi, obviously. There's not even a, not even a hint. Not even a hint of delay. Hi. I love it. Hey! We pulled you off for, I don't know, let's, let's just say, um, just in case. You pulled them off? <laughs> Fuck off, <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. I mean, <laughs> look at that wee face. Zoom to ground! What an episode, what an, I even forgot about the, the gorilla and the kebab joke, and I still don't know what that joke is, so hopefully somebody can bring me up to speed on that. And Sonia and the wee dog, ah, amazing. I can't wait to bring on some more highlights tonight. So uh, let's catch up with Hannah behind the scenes, see how she's doing. How's it going? How are you, Hannah? I'm very well, yeah, I'm buzzing. Spooky I'm and dark. It's spooky and dark in the production studio tonight as you sit there with your puppeteer hands ready to go. It's a window into my dark soul. <laughs> so how's things been? How, how's it, how are we shaping up tonight? Oh, very well, very well. Last minute, as always, as I like to, I like to get like a bit of a buzz on, so I leave everything till Friday night, and then I like frantically email people, and I like the thrill of the chase. And um, we're getting loads of comments, and your wife's missed the theme tune again. Sloppy, Jennifer. No, <laughs> you need to no. show up in time. Um, Emma Lauriston says it's the highlight of their Saturday night. It's the highlight of my week. Never mind Saturday night. It's the high. This is the highlight of my week. We've got our wonderful contestant from last week, uh, well, contestant from episode one, Davy Lolly, uh, Angel Card Reader from episode two, Let's Get a Making Love. Uh, we need to find out about that gorilla and kebab joke, it's driving me insane. Over to you, Andy, I'll just keep doing this. Yep. No, no, we, we do need to find out about that joke. Um, and as you, you touched on, David, he was our guest from last week, uh, another fantastic guest coming up this week. Uh, we'll catch up with them very, very soon. Um, the, there's a couple of other things that we've got to let you know about, a couple of little changes. We do have a Zoom to Groom referee who will be patrolling the comments. Uh, he'll be dishing out warnings, yellow cards and red cards. Very <laughs> shite, tapped out. Um, and we're also going to be we're going to be trying out a new voting system to give every all of you all the viewers a chance to vote on who you think the best date was, who our daters should choose, all of that kind of stuff. So be keeping an eye on that. Make sure you're getting involved in those rates as well. Kevin, just reaffirming that he loves bacon. <laughs> we all yeah. love bacon. Yes. Um, but yeah, I, I'm excited. To, to, are we just going to dive straight in? Will we dive straight in? Absolutely, absolutely. Let's get our first data in. Yeah, so our first contestant tonight is Tim. He's a film editor, video, music video director. He lives in Glasgow, mostly edits game shows, occasional documentary, and his music videos are for local hip-hop artists. He also dabbles in a little bit of art. Um, so let's get him in. All right, man. Tim, how are you doing? I'm not too bad. How's yourself? Good, very good. Now, Tim, I've given you that lovely introduction, but it is... Yeah. We've obviously met virtually before... We um, have met virtually, yeah. Because you were um you were one of the guests on our Beat the Beats and Quiz. Um but maybe more weirdly, uh, you're also Hannah's brother. I am, unfortunately, yes. Um, so your your wee sister 
try to hook you up on the internet? I mean, that's one way of looking at it. The other way is that this is probably the final revenge after I locked her in the shed when she was like five. <laughs> uh, and she that's what we should do. We shouldn't bother with dates. You should just tell us all the terrible stories about her so she refuses to come back on later on. Aye. Well, we're just... We're... We should forget that Hannah has complete control over what happens on the and who comes on the screen and who doesn't come on the screen. So maybe we should be a bit nicer to her. This is going to be like Saw, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, I don't. I think we're just going to crack straight. And it's it's weird because we've spoke to each other before. I always forget that maybe not everybody else has has met you because they'll have seen you on Beat the Beats. And but I suppose let's get to know you. Let's get to know you. So so where are you, Tim? Uh, I'm in my hall. Um, obviously, the good internet is in the lounge, and Her Majesty obviously has to have the good internet. So I'm just kicking in the hall. Um, but you use it in Glasgow, aren't you? We're in Glasgow, yeah, in the West End. Uh, how long have you been single for? <sighs> New York and back. Uh, Into the deep dark memories. Oh, uh, do you know what? It's, it's only like uh, just over a year, I believe. Um, it feels a lot longer than that, but I. Um, that was like a, the first kind of personal question. I wasn't ready for it. So sorry, 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 <laughs> under the bus there, Tim. So right, let's 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 take it a wee bit more like higher level. Then, what are you looking for? Who'd be the ideal date? Um, I mean, just, I mean, good banner first and foremost, man. If you can't have a laugh with someone, what what's the point of of all the rest? So I mean, that has to come first. Someone you kind of connect with. I mean, I'm just doing this for the banner, kind of, but like, you know. You well, never know. But I mean, if you find me, my soulmate, then fucking awesome. Yeah, I mean, I started this for a laugh and now I'm fucking here six nights a week talking shite to strangers on the internet. It's been amazing. But I mean, a a Amy Barclay, they're asking the big question Do you like crisps? Do I like crisps? Yes. Who doesn't like crisps? I'm a big crisp fan. I mean, I have at least one big family sized bag a night. Okay. What's uh, your favorite crisp? My favorite crisp? Yeah. I'm getting in with the, the Amina style questions here for any any regulars that know that's that's all about. For sure, man. Uh, I mean, I, I like I like anything, man. I'm not that fussy, but it, salt and vinegar is good. Uh, whatever that, I like, you know, a good ridge crisp. <laughs> I don't see what one thing I hate. See Mackay's crisps, shite. Don't like them. Pop chips, pop chips are good barbecue or salt and vinegar. So that's all I'll say. Right. Well, I, I hopefully I've got out some of the 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 weird rubbish chat that they start with and we'll get straight into the good stuff uh, we're going to set you up on your first date your first date is Aisha uh, she's from Aberdeen she loves a laugh uh, and her favourite thing to watch is comedy in fact her dream date is a stand up oh wait a minute no Aisha's having some technical difficulties we're going to um, see if we can get her in but you forgot to mention Tim's art Andy maybe you could say that um, I'll let you know in the live chat if Aisha's I didn't I didn't forget to say it I said oh, that we were... did you brought him on screen we're going to show some of it. Aye, let's show you um, that. That's a horrible segue you've done there, Hannah. Fuck me. <laughs> That's me. Which, which one's you? Or is that you? Aye, that's me. It's a projection of myself. I know. Yeah. Hannah just missed me actually introing the art and then brought you straight in. So we'll blame Hannah for that You've been tightening this up. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's because I've, I was uh, trying to help a contestant get in. So I'm going to go back to trying to help her get in and let's go to Arlene first, Andy. Okay, let's get Arlene in. Let's get Arlene in. So Arlene, she's from Elgin. She describes herself as a strong-minded, independent woman. Uh, she's just completed a degree in sociology and criminology and she's looking for somebody that can hold an interesting conversation. Good luck with that. Luck. Uh, she doesn't want any lazy people or mummies boys, though. So just a warning. So let's get Arlene in. Hello. Hello, Arlene. Arlene, meet Tim. Tim Hello, Arlene. Tim. You're 90 seconds together. Start now. So we're going to share a packet of crisps together. Is that right? Like, what, what crisps are you into? Uh, not the kind that you are, but I do like a good frisk, which has got a good ridge in it. <laughs> good. As long as there's ridge happening, do you know what I mean? Wasn't sure if I was meant to show you the best 90 seconds of your life or you were meant to show me the best 90 seconds of my life. <laughs> yeah. Where, where's your accent from? You're from Elgin. Elgin, yeah, between Inverness and Aberdeen. Of course. I have a lot of friends from like Dingwall and Inverness. Uh -huh. uh, so, so you're I, passing me. 
I'm passing you, I, I'm driving right past, um, but only because I don't know you, but your degree, sorry, is like criminology, that's that's really interesting. And sociology, yeah, really, really good. And what got you into that? I about detective work. Indeed, indeed. Like, uh, and, and what? why did you go and choose to study that? Just been interested in, I actually work in banking, my career's in banking, but I just did that on the side because I just wanted to get the mind going again and I've always been interested in it, so something to do, you know. There's more more needed than looks. You need a bit of brains as well. So hopefully I'm a bit of an all-rounder. <laughs> I think so for sure. But um, but what do you want to do with your degree? Uh, I haven't decided yet. We'll we'll see. Just sort of so. There's too many live people to know, so I won't give all my cards away. Ah right, I see. I see. Fair enough. I, I wanted to be a, a pathologist when I was like in primary school, and then. My teacher was like, so like, you know, you'll be looking at like naked bodies. And I was like, well, they're naked, what guys? I was like, I think I'll just become like, you know what I mean? Yeah, take the good with the bad. <laughs> the bad. <laughs> That's it. So how, how's your lockdown been? What, how have you been keeping yourself sane? Yeah, just uh, working out, doing different things, getting roped into things like this, obviously. Don't Me take myself too seriously. So long 90 yeah. seconds. Oh, we're going to yeah. cut out. That's it, gone. Peace. Oh, I never think it goes well when somebody says, oh, it's a long 90 seconds. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot of bears, man. Then, right, we'll crack on our next date, but I'm going to guess Hannah's going to jump in and tell us who it's going to be, because I don't know if Aisha is going to be ready yet. Aisha's not quite ready yet. Next up, we have got Lauren. Cool. Right, so Lauren, archaeology student from Cardiff, but she's currently living in Glasgow. Uh, she loves wine, art, straight in. And taking sneaky pictures of nuns. Uh, Me too, actually. It's weird, weird. Um, she also loves Shag, Mary, Kill, so I look forward to hearing maybe a bit more about that. So let's meet Lauren. <laughs> Lauren, Lauren. So it was I... quite a while ago that I filled that out. So I... hmm? But before I let the date start... Can I you do hear need... me? Yeah, I can hear you. I, I do need to know what, you're, what, what the sneaky pictures of nuns is all about. Um, so I lived in Rome before university and it's full of nuns and you just see them doing really normal things like in the supermarket buying ham. So I got into a bit of a thing where I'd send pictures of them to my mum and now whenever I see a nun, I have to take a photo. And now that's how you're going to be known to everyone on the internet. So Lauren, tell yeah, I really me regret writing your 90 seconds together starts now. How's it going, Lauren? You all right? It's good. I, I actually wrote down a couple of questions for you because I was worried that I wouldn't have anything to say. Okay. Um, so, would you rather fight John Cena, but he's taken a lot of Valium, or fight the Milky Bar Kid, but he's pumped full of steroids? I mean, I would fight them both, to be honest, but I mean... Uh... Who would I fancy my chances against? The Milky Bar kid pumped full of steroids. I feel like I'd still slap him about quite a lot. John Cena is quite big. Okay. Um, so I, yeah, and the that, Bar, that's a fair answer. He's very smug. Do you know what I mean? I, I never really liked him, even though the chocolate bar is great. But um, I don't know. No, I completely get that. I mean, you, you probably shouldn't brag about being able to beat up children on the internet. But no. I do understand. No. Well, I mean, that, when you frame it like that, it makes me sound like a real dick. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so it wasn't around. <laughs> that's it. I'm very, I'm very flattered you prepared some questions. I'm just winging it. That's kind of my style. But um, no, I like that. I like a bit of spontaneity. That's good. How many pictures of nuns <laughs> do you have? <laughs> Sorry. Um, if this goes well, I can send you some of my collection. Oh wow! Jeez, well, I hope it does. Really I only got one of my questions done. Oh shit, is that five seconds left? Time flies when you're having fun talking about nuns. That that was one of that's the best question I think I've ever heard on Zoom to Groom. Like there's no doubt about it. Um a few people asking if uh, Lauren came from heaven uh, because of the bright light in there, I'm guessing. Um I, I loved her, she was class. I'm I'm not gonna say anything. I'm I'm just I'm I'm going. To, I'm, I'm being bad there by giving my opinion. Uh, but let's see. Is is Aisha ready yet? Hannah, have we got Aisha ready? No. Nah. No. Nah. We don't. So Tim, what I would say is, why don't you? Ha ooh, ooh, who's this? Oh, wait. I think she's. I think she's coming in. I think she's coming in. And um, let's see what the comments are saying. So, what are people thinking out of the two so far? 
Tim wanting to slap about the Milky Bar kid is peak date <laughs> chat. Love him, Je says Gemma Gemma Loudon, Gemma Loudon there is a uh, Zoomy Groom Royalty, by the way. She was one of our first daters. Wow. Amazing. Um, so I think I think the issue with uh, Aisha is <laughs> oh <laughs> I didn't mean to put that up, but it's too late now. <laughs> um so um what a bam, whoever that is, John McCross, and how dare you? I'm a gentleman. <laughs> um, I think, uh, the pictures then feel free. <laughs> Aisha, we could you could have a blind date with Aisha because basically her mic and her mic and her camera isn't working, but it was working earlier. So I'm determined to get that sorted out. So what I'm gonna say is Tim, hang around, we'll get you on this final date with Aisha because I think she sounds amazing. Um, and then we'll come back and, and find out who you're gonna pick. Lauren and Arlene will need to kick you out of the studio for now to let in our other daters because we've got a maximum amount, but um I will resend you the link um or or, or soon to be in referee will be sent you the link and you'll come back later if you will please if you like Tim if you don't then just fuck it leave <laughs> um okay bye for now Tim bye bye you later, Tim. so are we going to go to our guest now then yeah we are going to go to our guest now <laughs> So we have a very special guest uh, on tonight. As you remember, we've had a guest on every week. First week was Father Paul, who gave some amazing uh, life, love, just just advice to live by. Um, last week we had Davy on doing some angel cards readings. This week we have a very special um, star. He's a star. I mean, he's been on loads of TV shows. You may have seen him come to hit fame with Glasgow's The Only Way Is Essex Glow. Um, but then he was on Dinner Date, Couples Come Dine With Me, Channel 4 Sex Tape, and probably, the, certainly the one that I've seen most on the internet is when he was on MTV's Just Tattoo Of Us. Um, should we play a clip of that now? Certainly. Brian, how are you doing? Excuse the language there. <laughs> oh, fucking <laughs> shite, now you want on here, that's okay. Oh, um, God. Do you I'm know what? I'm bringing that back up. <laughs> no, I've seen the clip so many times, but actually, the one I always see is like your girlfriend's tattoo, um, and I think mm. a lot because because you 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 it was a, a suitcases and you told her to pack her bags, didn't you? But yes, I certainly did. You, you just didn't actually split up. I think that's 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 important. That people know that. Am I right? Well, we we, we did it first, uh, and then we 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 made up. You know, I sort of forgave her after a while, which was very hard after what she done to me. One of the worst experiences of my life, but I still forgave her. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I would. If, if I had to get a tattoo, I would take that one over the the one that you probably wanted, and that's where we'll leave that chat. But there's clearly going to be a lot of people not sure about what tattoo you got. Have you still got it? Have you covered it? What did you do? Well, they they aren't letting me remove it. They're 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 saying that uh, it's got a bit of longevity. They, they had 1.8 million views in a day and a half. They never had that before. I don't think they realised. <laughs> I don't. I don't think they realised. You know that the you know how intense we are about the football here. No, you know, how passionate we are. <laughs> uh, so they put me up and they said, uh, "Brian, you can't believe it. Set one point eight million views. You're not removing the tattoo." And I went, "What? That's no part of the deal." They said, no, "We're not letting you do it." <laughs> so it's a nightmare. But by but I'm getting it lasered on the fly. No, oh, okay. Hopefully, okay. TV's not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> now you've you've been on a lot of TV shows. Um, but one one of the ones that I keep being told about, um, for, for some, I think it was for Channel 4, where you landed a date with Dana from The Scheme. <laughs> now, Another one of my highlights. <laughs> just, just well, for, for, people that maybe don't know, for people that maybe don't know, The Scheme was maybe the, the polar opposite of The Only Way is Essex. You could see that. And Kilmarnock. Like yes. the absolute, yeah, yeah, the, the 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 maddest of the mad. Brilliant TV, but but did you go on a date with Dana? Well, yeah, it's a bit of a long story. I'd, I'd done modelling for many years with uh, Sonia Scott Agency, but, and uh, Sonia was actually on the show. Uh, uh, the I think it was the second one. Sonia yep. with a nice dog. Yes, uh, so, a beautiful agent. I'm giving her a, a shameless plug there. Uh, well, she phoned me and she says, "Hey, Brian, the, the son want to do a photo shoot with you." I says, "All right, right, sounds good." She went, uh, the, only, the thing is, it's with uh, Dana. I went, Dana says, oh, Dana from the scheme, uh, Marvin's girlfriend. She went, no, it's okay, it's okay. It's not uh, that she's single now. Uh, Marvin's actually been caught writing love letters from, from the jail <laughs> to other girls. <laughs> to other girls. So the son have said, right, okay, we want to get you over Marvin. So I want you to look through all the, the, the modelling agencies and choose somebody you like. So... She chose me for some weird and wonderful reason. And uh, and, I, and I said, yeah, do you know what? Let's go for it. It'll be a wee bit of tongue-in-cheek. But it certainly wasn't. 
Uh, yeah. Now, Marvin's, they went out, we were looking at rings, and they were taking photos, we were looking at rings, to engagement rings, and we were going for some tea together, and it was, we were made out to be, you know, a couple. And it was a laugh, because I'm walking along Buchanan Street, and uh, somebody shouted, how Dana? I'm, I'm walking along with, beside her, and she's come up, she's put her hand between my arm, right? And so we're walking together, and uh, somebody shouted, how Dana? You've been right down hill since Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, and then I walked down a wee bit and she used to have a, a dog called Bullet and somebody shouted, I would rather take Bullet the dog out in a date. Right? <laughs> and then somebody says, I would rather take a Bullet to the heat. What <laughs> 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 did we can do? Uh, it's funny because people are months after it. Uh, Marvin's famous saying was, uh, happy as Larry, never been happier. Aye. People were driving by me in the street and shouting out their windows to me. <laughs> it was, uh, it was well, one of my... I, 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 somebody in the comments said um, the, it's unlocked a memory because when I'd seen the notes and I'd seen that you'd been on my day, I was like, the scheme. I now actually live in East Ayrshire, so I'm not a million miles away from Kilmarnock. Right. And just like, I, I, part of me wants to go through there the same way you would go through New York and go and visit the Friends building. I want to go through the scheme <laughs> just to see where it all kicked off. <laughs> um, yeah. So things kind of kicked off. Oh, wait a minute, here's Hannah coming out to give me any trouble. Hi, it's not it's not a chat show with Brian Matthews as much as we love you, Brian. <laughs> we've got a show to get on with. We've got a show to get on with. Um, what I'm saying is, Andy, we've actually um, I want to get this while we can. We've got Aisha back in. I'm going to throw her on a date with Tim. Brian, hang there. We'll come back to you. All right, you're getting papped out, Brian. <laughs> we'll come back to you. <laughs> Let's get Tim back. <laughs> your, man's, your man's teeth are like blindingly white. He's got like some set of teeth. Your sister is she? She drives a hard bargain. She she, uh, doesn't, she doesn't take any shit. Um, right, let's get Aisha on then. Your your final date. Um, as I said, she's from Aberdeen. What did I say? She likes to watch comedy, and her ideal date would be with a stand up comic. So I hope you're funny. So let's <laughs> get Aisha. On. Hi. Aisha, Hi uh... Eventually, eventually, we meet you. How are you doing? Hello. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I've had like loads of issues with the uh, getting getting online. So sorry you're about in, that. You're in Aberdeen. The, the internet's kind of be that good up there. But anyway, Aisha, <laughs> you're, you're 90 seconds with Tim. Start now. Hello. Okay. How Hiya. Doing? How are you doing? We look like we're in the same room. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I have SpongeBob. I don't know if you can see SpongeBob, but never mind. Oh, I can see half a SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so where are you from? Uh, oh, I've I've lived I've lived everywhere. So I'm seeing one of my friends in the comments. Uh, <laughs> I, I've lived about everywhere. So, but Glasgow for most of my life. Like I sort of live and work here and studied here. So, um, oh. but my mum and dad live in the borders. But um, how's how's Aberdeen? Uh cold. The usual. <laughs> cold and rainy. To be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's tough, but yeah. What did you study? Uh, film and TV, uh, strangely, not that, not that it helped me get a job, it was just a, a mad waste of time. Um, uh, yeah, it was fun. I mean, we watched a lot of movies and stuff, but it's just like talking about them endlessly in a really sort of wank way that I was just like, I'm not cut out for this at all. Um, and then I, I worked in a call centre for ages, so that was that. But uh, what about yourself? Are you, are you studying in Aberdeen? Uh, no, I, I'm not studying, um, but I, I am also in the film industry as well, actually. Oh, um, yeah. I I do acting, um, but also I have a normal like day job as well, which is um, I'm a sales executive. I see. So, have you acted in anything I would have seen? Um, probably yeah. not. To be honest, no. Oh, yeah. um, oh, fuck. When who put it a minute and a half? This is scandal. <laughs> I do love it. It's, it's just enough to just get a wee taste. I know that's it. It's like finish your question. Kills you. Right, now it's one of the big questions though, Tim. Um, and hopefully hopefully our uh, Zoom Groom referee is putting a little uh, poll in the comments um, for people to, to vote on. Who are you going to choose to give you... Well, I, have to, I have to choose already? Aye. Well, you've, you've had your three dates. So you had Aisha, who we just met there. You had Arlene, uh, who's from Elgin. And then you had Lauren from Wales, but lives in Glasgow. <sighs> In all honesty, I would happily go on a second date with any of them because they all seem lovely and nice banter. Uh, oh. Fraser thinks you're handsome. Fraser, I think you're handsome. <laughs> uh, Hannah didn't put, put me in. Uh, I mean, just based on the 
the preparation and the fact that I need to see these nun picks. I'm sorry. Is Lauren? I, I have to go with Lauren overall. I have to. I have Let's to. Get back on. Well, we will get her back on later on, but we, we've already moved on to our next set of dates, Tim. This is going swimmingly tonight. Um, our next set of dates are in the room, so we're going to still keep you backstage, um, Tim, and you can just uh, you can wait and see if Lauren wants to come back on and date you or if she's going to leave you at the altar. This is okay. a <laughs> <laughs> He's out. He's out. Um, <laughs> can, we, so can, we Brian, can we bring Brian back in quickly? And let's figure out who Brian would have chose. That's what that's that's what everybody wants to know. Brian, who would you have chose that Tim chose there? We had Aisha there from Aberdeen, we had Lauren, uh, who had the mad nun taking pictures of, and then we had Arlene, who was the first date tonight. Uh yes, I, I think they, they definitely had the, the right the right choice. Uh, the, right choice. The, the girl with the picture, shouldn't she say they're going to start sending you some pictures? I was like, ah. choose her. She got to choose her right away. And then it was then obviously she meant nuns, pictures of nuns, but right away I was like, she's up for the <laughs> Excellent. That's as as long as long as they made the right decision coming from a man of your experience. Uh, I just yeah. that's all that's all I needed to know. So yeah. uh, good stuff. Right, let's get Hannah back in. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know if we're going straight on to our next dates. Are we going straight on to our next um, date? We're going straight into our next dates, unless you I let's let's save Black Brian's clip from Glow for later. <laughs> shall we okay. um, let's go on to our next date so next up we have got Torkel from Aberdeen okay let's get him in Torkel is an outgoing guy uh, looking for somebody yeah. for, for a laugh and doesn't take life too seriously is that right apparently so yeah so can I just check is it Torkel or Torkel you've nailed it you're probably the first person in the country to get it in a while I said it tw two different times though so what, which one is it first one First one, oh, Torkel. Torkel, okay, Torkel. good. Well, actually, I was arguing with Hannah. She said Torkel, and I wasn't sure. I thought it was Torkel, so we'll go Torkel. It's fine. Um, right, so it says your ideal dates is drinks and some fun activity. Uh, yeah. And, and when, when Hannah asked if you were available tonight, it says if there's a date on the cards, I'll make myself available. That's that's what I like to see. Commitment commitment to the cause. Yeah. Uh, so, so you're in, you're in Aberdeen, is that right? Uh, yes, I am in Aberdeen, yeah. How's lockdown in Aberdeen been? I mean, let's be serious. It's been shit. I mean, without, without the lockdown, Aberdeen isn't like amazing, is it? Like, yeah, you know? it's not the first place you would choose, is it? I mean, yeah, exactly. You know. Yeah. So, um, what, what have you been doing? Have you still been able to work, or what, what's happening? You no, know, I've been uh, I've been furloughed um, for the past what since lockdown started. I actually um I work in sort of bars, clubs, and whatnot. So, first industry to sort of get hit, last industry to sort of come back to it. Um, but just sat here fucking waiting for it to all sort of kick off again. Yeah, okay. Right, well, let's get you on some dates then. We'll kick you off your first date tonight. Your first date is Paige. She's hey. also, she's from Torfins in Aberdeenshire. Uh, oh. Although throughout uni term, she lives in Glasgow. Uh, she's in her third year of biochemistry. She loves sports and loves to party. So somebody that can get her guesties for nightclubs is who she's looking for. Uh, her idea on the pic is a picnic in the park with some cans. So let's meet Paige. <laughs> Hello. Paige, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Very good. So Paige, are you in Aberdeen just Aberdeenshire just now or are you in Glasgow? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm in Aberdeenshire, so I'm not far. Not far. It's like 30, 30 miles out. Okay. Well, Paige, meet Torkel. Your 90 seconds starts now. Aber where about in Aberdeen? So I'm out in Torfins. I don't know if you know where that is. <laughs> Roughly. Right. I'm gonna go for the questions yeah. first, right? Oh go on. How much have you drunk before coming on this? Okay, about a glass and a half of wine. Oh, I don't believe you at all. <laughs> <I'm a little laughs> you definitely have had more than that. <laughs> you know, hit me with a question on my next like. Yeah, no, how much have you drank? Tell me. Uh, quite a fair bit, I won't lie. <laughs> like, come on. I have a question for you, though. Know, stream thing that's going to be on the internet for ages. Like, I was shitting my pants for this. <laughs> yeah, but you'd rather not make a fool of yourself and be absolutely shit faced, wow. do you? I got it's a bit too late for myself. <laughs> um, right. If you could have a superpower, what would it be and why? It would definitely be teleport because, you know, like when you're traveling back from Glasgow, on a Sunday night to to Torfins, I just want to be able to just teleport. Yeah. You come back from holiday, like you. fuck, and then you've got to get yeah, the trip. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. For sure. Yeah. Fucking right. right. What, what would yours be? 
difficult. Uh, well, what was the question, Zoe? What would your what would your one be? <laughs> your superpower. Oh, fly. Fly. Okay, yeah. If I fly, then I could fly me and you anywhere on a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's kind of similar to teleporting, isn't it? I like that. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, take so me to. A smooth end. A smooth end there, Torko. Very well done. Well, well, smooth yeah. end. Yeah, so that was your first day. So, that was yeah. Sorry, say that again. I said it's almost as if I rehearsed it. <laughs> You've obviously got a lot of pals in the comments here. Um, yeah. a, few, a, few, a few people fighting your corner. Good. Um, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, let's Look, kick Can I just say, they all need to pipe the fuck down because they're doing that one. I know they're, they're distracting you, I can tell. Right, let's kick on with your second date then. Uh, Kaylee, she's a nurse, a wee key worker for you from Falkirk. She's easy going up for a laugh and is looking for somebody that's easy to talk to. So let's get Kaylee in. Hi. Kaylee, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Very good. Kaylee, um, meet Torkel. You're 90 seconds Hi. with him. Starts now. Lovely. Hi, how are you? I'm good. You shoot with the first question. Oh, okay. Um, first there. No, I'll go first. Okay. Um, what does your name mean? It's a weird one. It actually it means um, a different variation of Thor, the god. <laughs> um, genuinely, I think it means like Thor's helmet or Thor's like cauldron or something, but something to do with Thor. It's a weird one. Most folk just call me T. Okay, okay. Right, you can go. Hot holiday or cold holiday? A hot holiday, definitely. Oh, what about mm-hmm. like, what's the ideal hot holiday? Um, like, I love Europe, so like anywhere in Europe. Anyway. You're not going really to one of these like, oh, Ibiza, fucking ocean, beach club. No, no, definitely yeah. not. <laughs> um, um, right, so here we go. Right, if you could go on a night out with anyone, dead or alive, who would you go on a night out with? I have Bearing no idea. A lot of ace people out there, dead and alive. I have no idea. <sighs> Come on. Uh, One, four, three, two. Is- oh, okay. Come on. Who would Jules be, Torco? That's why I want to know. Me? Yeah. Probably Robbie Williams in his 20s. That's or- an ad- that would or, be a new to remember. Freddie Mercury, right in his prime era. Okay, good answers. Wild, good answers. Wild, to be fair. Both good answers. Um, right, so we've got your last date then, Patricia. Fucking hell, there's, then we've actually got a full covering Jesus. of the screen as Sunday explains your name. Amy oh, went straight into the Wikipedia. She's went straight into Wikipedia to copy and paste that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, we we don't have um, who we plan to have um, for Torco's final date. Don't know what's what's happened to Patricia, but we do. Don't worry, we do. We do. What's that, Torco? Was your final date for me a girl called Kim by any chance? No, but I could get no. her if you want her. No, no, no. I already know her, I already know her from Aberdeen. I thought it'd be quite funny if she popped. That up. would be funny. Oh, she, she didn't reply to my text. Thanks, Kim. Um, right. What we will do, because we have, and I, Aisha worked so hard to get in here, um, fighting the connection, we're going to stick you on a date with Aisha. All right, okay. so on. We've already met Aisha tonight. Uh, Aisha's uh, date with, Was it Tim? Yeah, she's also in Aberdeen. But you guys, 90 seconds uh, together. Andrew, oh, oh, <laughs> uh, how was uh, your 90 seconds with Tim? It was great, yeah. <laughs> you, sound it was about it. you sound buzzing about it. No, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. First question near you. Sorry? First question, I'll go. If you could be an animal, what would you be? Um, a cheetah. Because they're fast. Why? They're they're fast. fast. They're elegant. Yeah, okay. They're also, yeah, just very good at hunting. (laughs) They're also what? Okay. (laughs) What about you? What animal would you be? Oh, I don't know. Probably <laughs> like an eagle or something. Do you know? So you can I just fly about, cut about the place. I see. Okay. Cool. Um, what is the weirdest food you've ever tried? Ooh. 
Um, honestly, a lot, a lot of the things that I eat in India, to be honest. Um, in India, what, do you, what, what fucking? They yeah. Have some I mean, to be honest, I don't, I don't really know exactly what I was eating either because I couldn't speak the language properly at the time. So, yeah, um, I just ate whatever was in front of me. But it was good. It was different. Very different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how much have you had to drink before this? Because I will not lie, I've had a fair few bevies before this. Like, I'm pretty nerve wracking. <laughs> I won't. Lie. Oh, bless. No, I, I actually haven't drank anything at all since lockdown. Yeah, no, oh, really? Are you not a big drinker, no? No, I, like, I... Oh. 90 seconds goes fast, especially when you tell me to fuck off oh, at the start. Um, so, that was your three dates. We had Paige, Kaylee, and Aisha. Who would you give your golden heart to and potentially go on a second date with? Do I have to answer, like, right now? Hi. Canal Andy, man, you put me on the spot here, like. Oh, you, and you mean like, uh, people, what kind of animal they want to be? Isn't they putting folk on the spot? <laughs> In all honesty, I would probably say first date because age. I don't know. Yeah, I think we just clicked like partner wise. Let's get Paige back on then. Get her on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God, God, I'm supposed to come on. <laughs> Paige, you, Paige, it seems, oh like you've got a party huh? it seems like you've got a party going on there and everybody celebrating. No, no, I'm partying, I'm partying with myself. Hey, you get close to the party's going my, on. My flatmates are in the living room watching me right now. They, yeah, my friends are on the sofa over there. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, yeah. We could say, 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 we yeah, we should. <laughs> you guys have to come here, though. <laughs> Torfins, though. Fucking <laughs> hell. Good fun out here. If you get the party, fucking yes, I've done my job. I bet. <laughs> if you get if, I, if you get at the jail for having a party, we'll take no responsibility. But we're just glad we made a okay. match. Yeah, you've had to just remember that. It's a match, a match made in Aberdeen. Um, <laughs> there was an empty <laughs> after this. We were and in the press in Aberdeen this this week, and we got like forty applications from Aberdeen after if, it. If we're, in the press, if we're in the press this week for causing a massive house party, I don't want my name attached to that one though. Just if they get together and have a massive house party in Aberdeen because of that match, let's try and distance ourselves from that one though. Fair play, fair play. I'm um, very happy to report that Lauren has come back for better or worse. She's whether she's been polite, I don't know, but <laughs> Lauren and Tim. <laughs> Hi. Lauren, Tim. Man, Tim, he's already met, but a match, a match made in heaven, clearly. Um, so please feel free yeah, to yeah. the DMs and see if another second date will happen. Um, and and you obviously, Lauren, you should obviously be pleased to report that um, Brian, from famously from Glow, would also have chosen you as well. There he is, there's Brian there. If it, if it doesn't work out with Tim, I'll, I'll give it a second choice if it doesn't work out with Tim. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay, it's good to know. <laughs> I, love it. I love it. But well done. Oh, well, here's your sister coming in to make things more awkward, Tim. Yeah. I'm just saying our polls, we found out from our Zoom to Groom referee on social media that our polls also said Lauren was the favourite. So, um, yeah, have a great life together, guys. I know. I love it. I love it. I mean, we're just making matches all over the place. Two in a row there. Uh, Tim and Lauren, and then Torco and who did, who did Torco? Oh, Torco picked Paige. Uh, again, I'm taking no responsibility for that house party. Um, and Brian agreed on the lot as well. But I think I think maybe we should we should get Brian back in. Uh, and let's let's have oh oh uh, what's happening? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> Hello, Brian. I don't know what was going on. Him with some gremlins in the system tonight. Um, so from the, the Aberdeen boy, Torco, do you think he made the right decision there with Paige? 
without a doubt, uh, she was lovely, Paige, actually. She was, she was right on my street. And she, the good thing is uh, all friends were all there. So I may get in touch with Torco and me and him each, might head along there and join Aye. them. Definitely. Yeah. There's a party going on there. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. 100% there's a party going back there. Um, now, as we, we kind of touched on earlier, you, you obviously kind of, you, you came onto the scene on Glow. Um, I remember when Glow was launched and I was like, what the fuck is this? And it, it kind of took Glasgow totally by storm. It was the maddest thing I've ever seen. Um, and then ever since then, you just you've appeared on a lot of different shows. Uh, but I think I think we should maybe show a wee clip of Glow for those people who have maybe never seen it before. Right. Okay. It's been too long. It's been too long. I've got to say, I've even missed you a wee bit myself. Uh, yeah, just nice just another wine. Just another wine. Come on, back. Fucking. Still shagging everything, big man. Well, everything new, but. I'm back shagging Gemma again. <laughs> <laughs> that makes so, two of you. Is it? I'm not seeing a lot. I'm not seeing a lot. So cl- clearly, Brian, in my in my earlier years, me, a man after my own heart, a bit of a ladies' man. Uh, yes, you could say that. I've had uh, <laughs> quite a, quite a, a, a wild time of it. Variety but, is um, a spice of life, as they say. Say again, sorry. But variety is a spice of life, as they say. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, but I mean, a bit of almost a bit of a nasty neck. Like, I mean, I think there was a bit of when Glow especially was on, there was a bit of like, this guy's a prick. Like, this guy <laughs> treats women like shit. He treats women like shit. And and I suppose the same came out of the whole tat- uh, just the tattoo of us. Um, would would you agree there? Yeah, totally. The, the amount of hate was unbelievable. And uh, but you need to have thick skin to be in this game. And I, I loved it. I soaked up the hate. And I was on the MTV. I was talking to Charlotte from Jody Shore, and she was like, she hates it. You no, know, she curls yeah. up in a ball, whereas I was like welcoming it. Come on, give me it, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to- there's a few people asking if you're single in the comments, by the way. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, no. There you go. I think <laughs> you're going to say, well, it depends who's asking. <laughs> <laughs> <People don't laughs> <open. Good> answer. <laughs> um, but how's things been? So, what, what are you up to just now, then, Brian? Uh, I've got a bar in Glasgow City Centre, uh, Oswald's Bar, shameless plug again. <laughs> uh, and it's uh, and it's going pretty well with the takeaway stuff. I've been doing the takeaways and there's been queues, it's been crazy, absolutely nuts. It was uh, I was actually one of the first to do it. It was splashed all over the newspapers, so it's been fantastic. But a lot of new laws just came in that they're going to maybe try and stop that on Monday. So back to being closed down until we open properly on the fifteenth. Aye, yep. you all you all set for that though? Just about. We need more direction on you know, is it one meter, two meter? It's just everything's in the dark a little bit just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I get that. I get that. But um, right, we've, we've got loads more dates to come up. So, yeah. as somebody who's been on a lot of these dating shows and things like that, what's the one tip other than you've got to have thick skin? Because I totally agree with that. Um, I, I just I don't read the comments because I'd probably kill myself if I did. Um, but like, what's the one tip you would give somebody who's taking part in these kind of things? Uh, be very forward. Just get, just get torn in. Don't be shy. Just say it like it is, and and be a wee bit prepared. I quite like the how they were preparing those questions. You were pretty Aye. good. So prepare yourself a wee bit. because ninety, 90 cool. seconds as well. Not a long time. No time for fucking about. No. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Thank you very much for joining us, Brian. Hopefully, we'll get you back on to chat a wee bit more about the other dates that we get on tonight. Yep. Um, and we'll crack on and see who we're going to get on next. Cool. All right. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Hello, we've got our next data ready. Um, might need to switch the order of his dates a little bit, but I'll let you know after date one. That's fine. Um, should we maybe catch up with some comments? Because they're absolutely flying. They're going wild. So they're not all nice, though, and sometimes they go so fast that I accidentally click on one that's not nice. Cheezo, yeah, cheezo. Um, somebody saying Brian's bar is the best bar. Um, he is the dating advisor. I thought he was hanging about waiting on a date. <laughs> <laughs> Is your girlfriend a dentist? Brian's got very nice teeth. He does. Um, so the is saying Brian is available. I think she means uh, available for work. <laughs> so is his <laughs> agent. Um, yeah, Brian Glow looks like George Best. That's that's Good. not that, that's a compliment and a half in my opinion. That's a belter. I'd Do take men that. actually talk to each other like that? Hopefully, he's grown up a bit since that clip. Brian, I'm all talking yeah, about shagging. <laughs> Uh, how did I get that off? Um, yeah. Okay. Then Good let's times. Get our next dates then. Uh, we're going let's to get do it. number three in. Uh, we, we actually met this contestant last, well, met, I say. We we had some photographs of him last week. He's Steve. He's a panto dame, singer. 
Uh, he's from Leith, Edinburgh. He's a Cancerian, soft hearted and sharp witted. So let's meet him. Hello. Hello, Steve. How are you doing? I'm all right. I'm still hungover from last night. I was just about to say, no, I, I, I do hear it was your birthday last night. It was. I got home at quarter to five this morning. So you're, you're feeling a wee bit rough and ragged. I was a wee bit slow today. <laughs> Did you have a good night, though? That's all that counts. A fabulous night, yes. I've got a wee COVID bubble, pals that live along the road. And uh, so we're allowed in and each out of our, out, in and out of each other's houses. So We won't yeah. grass on you. It's all right, Steve. We won't <laughs> no, it's allowed. It's allowed. They're the only one. <laughs> Um, okay, we're going to get you on some dates and we've got some three three dates set up for you. Your first date is Grant. Uh, Grant's from Aberdeen. He's a vlogger and a presenter. Uh, he recently vlogged about deleting Tinder and Grindr, uh, but he hasn't given up and finding love because he's here tonight. So let's meet Grant. It was cracking. <laughs> Grant, how are you doing? Hey, how's it going? You all right? Yes, very good. Now, Grant, um, meet Steve. Hello, You're Steve. 90 seconds together. Start now. I know. Check it. First of all, check the match in here. Yes, yes. Glad you got the memo about the check shot. It's right. organised already. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm Grant. How are you managing without Grinder and all that? Uh, perfect. It's actually, I think it's the, one of the most uh, unhealthiest things for the mind ever, Grinder. I, I, I binned them all about a year ago. Horrendous. It is absolutely oh, horrendous. Yeah. And the problem is, is I had to, I was doing a videos and I had to do a vlog about deleting grinder because I thought myself, well, if I put it out there, I have to do it. So, right. uh, so yeah. Fire out a question. Come on and hit me. Oh, good then. Uh, so, how would your pals describe you? Uh, the human manifestation of a sugar rush, basically. Good. If I was a drag, if I was a drag queen, my 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 name would probably be Sugar Rush. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine would be Labelia Trailing. Oh well, hello. There we go. I've got to ask a question. This is the thing I'm wondering all that. Are you wearing trousers right now? Yes. Oh, see, I'm totally, I'm totally in shorts. There you go. Oh, see, yeah. I'm That's yeah. all right. All, all right. right. Most stereotypical gay thing you do. What's the most stereo? What? Stereotypical gay thing you do. Well, I'm an actor. That's about as gay as it gets. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I think. Camp repartee, wit witty back chat. I love that date. Honestly, I'm from the, that was one of my favourite dates I've ever got to sit and with. <laughs> and the fact that you come on and matching shirts wow. immediately was was brilliant. It was brilliant. I loved it. And, and also, uh, that was one of my favourite questions that I think I've ever heard anybody ask on a date is, "How would your pals describe you?" That's, right. If I was if I wasn't married, I'd be stealing that. That's, that's <laughs> a pleasure. somebody wants to be taking notes right now. How would your um, wife describe you, Andy? Uh, I don't want to know. She's in the <laughs> probably tell everybody in a minute. Um, hiding would probably be the answer because I'm right up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, we're going to move on with your second date. Uh, your second date is a wee bit of uh, royalty on Zoom McGroom. He was our very first gay contestant. Um, oh. He's a medical student from Coat Bridge. Uh, and he, he was he was honestly he was the only gay contestant we had on series one. Uh, we couldn't we 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 eventually found him one date. Um, so we feel he was a bit of a groundbreaker. So we're glad to bring Alan back. Let's get him in. Sweet. Alan, oh, how are you doing? You were on last week. Alan, meet Steve. Yeah. Steve, meet Alan. You're 90 seconds together. Starts now. I remember you from last week. Oh, do you? Oh. And did you know when, when, when my picture came up, did you not comment, Daddy? <laughs> I don't remember that. I probably I think I, you might not. <laughs> I, <laughs> that was very good, though. Um, what would you want me to know about you? Um, I don't know. Uh, why don't I just go with the usual? So, cats or dogs? There we go. Uh, dogs can't be asked with cats. Oh, there we go. That's the correct answer. <laughs> um, what do you do? Oh, you're an actor. Sorry, I already heard that that bit. <clears throat> what kind of acting do you do? Is it all stage kind of stuff? Not, well, I mean, you've seen the pictures of the Panto Dame. That's mostly what I do. There's a lot of corporate training that we use, that acting's used in corporate training. And things like medical student training and all that sort of stuff, acting as patients. Oh, yeah, we, we get the people in that do the, do the um, Oskis with us, yeah. They're, they're, they're a brilliant service, yeah. Right. That's grand, sorry. Um, right. I've, done, I've done my share of um, all the telly stuff and all that, tag-ups and things. Here's a question. Big spoon or little spoon? <laughs> um, probably, I kind of prefer big spoon. I, I, either or, actually, it just depends uh, how okay. old one is. It depends who's the tallest. How tall are you? Uh, six foot one. 
All right, you're just a wee bit taller than me then. That's cool. Uh, excellent. Um, manscaping or full bush? Mother of God. Um, man, <laughs> uh, ma manscaping. Excellent, which is the correct answer. Very good. You like a bit of trim. Oh, nice. I love these questions. I absolutely <laughs> love them. It's the best. Um, and just, just so as you know, uh, the... That my, my wife actually did go into the comments when I first met Andy. I thought he was an arrogant asshole who flirted with everything that moved. So uh, <laughs> there you go. And, and there is the picture of the Panto Dame, just in case. Hey, there she goes. Is is that Princess Street, by the way? Uh, no, it's it's um, oh where is it? It's some, somewhere just south of Birmingham where they take the pictures for the company. Okay, I mean, looking fabulous though, looking fabulous. Um, right. let's, let's get your last date up then. Oh wait a minute, Hannah's coming in. His last date. Is that a party with his ex boyfriend or something like that? Um, so I'm getting Steve a third day in. So Steve, <laughs> Steve, hand backstage. We'll get your third day in. You've been Very brilliant, good. and we'll come back to you. I can. Thanks, Steve. I, I love Tim Hannah. Oh, he's brilliant. I love I them mean... all. I love them all. Some great personalities there. Yes. Um, I'm just seeing as well that Patricia's <laughs> Patricia, who was meant to be Torco's uh, final date, has has come in. Hopefully, we can get her a date in the after party. She's missed her chance, unfortunately. On the live show, it does happen fast. Um, we should go to the the polls, maybe, or the comments. Let's go to the comments and, yep. and get Brian in from the chat while we're doing that. Brian, how you doing? Great, great. They were, yeah. uh, they were, they were, they were nice. The first couple weren't they with the, the checkered shirts on? I, I, also love the, I love the questions, and it almost came from what you said there. Is like, don't hang about, straight in, ask ask the important questions, and <laughs> he continued that with second date as well. I thought it was great. Yes, uh, it, was, it was very good. And uh, even I was laughing and saying, are you wearing uh, shorts or are you, are you naked underneath? <laughs> I thought I'm we were going to get another, we were going to scratch your willy there. <laughs> I'm glad nobody asked me anyway. <laughs> is that an ironing board on your shoulder, by the way? An ironing board? No, it's a shelf. Is it, is it a shelf? No, it looked, oh, no, it's a shared extension cable. It looked like an ironing board. I thought you were doing a wee bit of ironing board. An extension to keep this plugged in. Very unprofessional, <laughs> actually. Did you turn that? There you are. There we go. <laughs> Um, so who who would you put? So we, we've got a few wee votes going on in the comments there. Who would you have picked as our best contestant so far tonight? Who's who's lit it up for you? Uh, Paige, Paige was great fun, very very bubbly, and she didn't seem shy at all. You know. Yeah, nah, she, she was good. good. She was good. Hopefully, hopefully, there's a bit of connection there, and they're, they're sliding into the DMs. Um, I believe we're actually hoping to be bringing back a couple of our contestants from last night. Uh, and as well as that, we're going to be chatting a wee bit of a de about Adele uh, from the Crofty Adele and Grado show on Go Radio. And um, we're hoping to bring her back, her, bring her in next week and get her some dates as well. Um, she could spawn that; should be great. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I'm lo looking forward to that. Uh, There's a few people here just saying that you just want to fire into page, and that's all. That's what. The, that's that's all. I've already slid into your DMs during the, <laughs> the break there. So have once you head. <laughs> ah well, ah well. Oh, here's Anna back. Awesome. You're, get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You're good, fine. Um, I, I, um, I we're still waiting on our next uh, couple of daters, Andy. Um, and I realised you were chatting about Adele there, and obviously I forgot to add Adele's picture. Um, <laughs> earlier. Um, so um, who have I got? Um, yeah, if any of our, if any single guys want to um pop into the. The live stream just let us know on facebook um on the comments and we will get that i've got the first of our next daters on and i'm just waiting on i'm waiting on becca so becca if you're watching this um we've sent you the link please join us yeah we should we should remind people that there is there is an opportunity after we've done all our kind of scheduled dates there is an opportunity for a wee bit of an after party if there's somebody that takes your fans if you're like you know what i'd quite like a date with this person or that person uh, hang about for after the official show. We have a wee bit of an after party, and you can get you can get involved if maybe you've had a wee drink on a Saturday and you're feeling a wee bit a wee bit more courageous about that Dutch courage. Uh, get involved, and we'll see if we can set you up with somebody. And make sure that you're taking advantage of those polls that we're putting up tonight as well. Let us know who you think people should be choosing uh, and getting them back on. A few people commenting, big Tim sneaking about in your background there, Hannah. Keep keeping about, seeing if there's that takes his fancy. I know, I know, I know. He's waiting on Lauren texting him, I think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm still waiting on, on this next dater, as usual, at, at about 11 it starts to... I've got Debbie back here. Maybe we should maybe we should chat to Debbie while we're waiting for her date. Let's do that. Let's do it. Hi! Hi, Debbie. 
I'm brilliant, thank you. I've yeah, got a good yeah, connection. But you, you were, were you, were you in episode one or episode two? Sorry, they all merge into one for me. Episode two. So you were last week. You were last week. I was. Um, now you were on last week, and you were dating guys, correct? Yeah. And this week you're like, yeah. you know, I'd actually fancy. I quite like to date a girl, and you saw you saw some of the girls we've had on. You're like, let's I do that. I, I mean, why not? Relationships with men, so keep those options open. Keep those options open. It's we're just waiting in uh, your date to come in, and Be Becca's going to join us. Um, but we had a lot, a, a lot of great comments about you, and and already actually, I saw one fly up there a wee second ago, and I missed. I think it was Gemma that said that um, people loving you, and people uh, the hair especially is what uh, everybody. It's, it's, up. it's not real. Don't tell people that. Nobody needs to know. It's the secrets. You can't see my roots anyway, so right. that's not good. The illusion. That's, I mean, I'm not even wearing any pants. Never mind trousers. Nobody Prove needs it. to know. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> see, Tracy, Debbie's a babe. Scott loves you. A lot of love for you. A lot of love for you in this. We're ready for our date. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Debbie, can I ask a question actually before we bring back in? Have you ever dated a girl before? Um, I've met a girl, but I've not like continuously dated a girl. Okay, just, just, I just, I thought it was, out, it was out of my own interest more than anything. But let's, let's get back in and let's have that date. Hi, Hi I'm Becca. here shutting my up. <laughs> right, Hello. Becca, Becca, meet Debbie. You're ninety seconds together. Start now. Hello. Hi. So, um, where are you from? Uh, originally, I'm from Helensboro. I don't know if you've heard from that. Yes, it's just across the water from Greenock, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I live in Greenock now, though. All right. So, is this where the magic happens? Uh, I don't know. I've never been on, and I'm pure nervous as fuck. I haven't even had a drink. <laughs> I've not had a drink either. I've been drinking water. So, yeah, me too. You, if you could be an animal, what kind of animal would you be? Oh man, probably a cat. I'm really lazy. <gasps> what a cat! I love, I love nothing. <laughs> um, what is your favorite type of movies? Um, I don't know. It's kind of mixed, to be honest. My favorite ever movie is Purple Rain. Oh, I've never seen that. Um, you've never oh, seen that, Purple Rain? Is that the Prince one? Yeah. Do you like Prince? Yeah. He, me and him share the same birthday. Really? Oh I'm my not, god. Eighth of June, I'm sure it is. If it's not eighth of I June, think, please. Um I think I seen the same birthday as uh, Chuck Norris. I don't know actually. My dad used to tell me that all the time. All right, so um where is it you say to live again? Uh Greenwich, the West End. Um so whereabouts would you go for a night out? A night out, not in Greenwich. No. I've actually <laughs> um, had oh Oh, bye. That time flies, doesn't it? The time absolutely flies. It's it 90 does. seconds just isn't enough. No, but it's not. You just hope the 90 seconds is just enough for you to get an idea and then maybe you can slide into the DMs later. But Debbie, are you going to, are you going to hang about a wee bit later on and see if yeah. we can get dates in the after? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Good stuff, good stuff. Lots of lots of love for you in the comments. I actually saw um, people, there's a few people um, Leanne and Gemma, they've they've started a bit of a gang and they want you to join their gang of people who just I, go out and, and I don't get have any them. friends anyway, so <laughs> well you're definitely going to get plenty here. So thank you for joining us again, Debbie, and hopefully we'll speak to you soon. Bye. See you later. Um now as we were saying, so let's let's see if we can get Hannah back and hopefully she's got Adele's stuff sorted. Have we got Adele's picture um... in Hannah? We can chat about that. <laughs> oh, <hell>. No. <laughs> If you listen to uh, uh, This Is Go Radio, uh, Hannah was on This Is Go Radio earlier on this week, uh, chatting about Zoomy Groom. And while she was on the on the Adele Croft, is it yeah, the Crofty Adele and Grado show, mm. yes. she convinced Adele to join us next week. So Adele, right here, no, that way, it's that way. Adele's over there. Uh, she's going to be joining us next week, and we're looking for dates for Adele. Uh, Adele. Adele was a bit picky, if we're honest. Adele's got a very particular type in mind. Um, so if you go and head over to our page and listen to that interview, you'll see exactly what it is Adele's looking for. And if if you think you fit that bill, make sure you apply. The link is on our pages. You can get that application in, um, and we'll get that sorted. We'll get that sorted for you. How's things going backstage? 
Um, good, yeah, good, really good, really good. I can do that whole um, apply thing. There we go. Yeah, cool. um, so that's the link to apply if you want to be Adele. Um, yeah, as always, we, we want to see Adele's got a long list of things that she loves about men. So we are looking for three perfect matches I, for I her. The pressure's on. on. I can remember someone, six foot was definitely one because I think you originally said half the people off. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I think it's important that somebody knows what she wants. Some, like, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of someone who doesn't. So I think that was great. I thought she was brilliant. Excellent. Um, so we are going to, cause the studio's full, um, Andy, anyone that's watching, I'm going to kick a couple of people out. We've got, um, I think that we need to, since we've not got another data for Stephen yet, I think we need to find out who Stephen's going to give his golden heart to between Alan and Grant. Um and then we can get on with the, the after show party. Yes, let's do it. So Stephen, Hello. Stephen, as I said, honestly, one of my favourite guests we've had on ever. But we unfortunately we only got you two official dates. Hopefully we can maybe even get you some on the after party. But you've got to choose somebody who you're going to give your golden heart to. Is it going to be Callum? Is it going to be Alan? Well, I think you've done a really good job with who you picked for me because I thought they were both really good fun. Um, I'm going to go with Grant. Grant? Grant. I thought I'd just sex it up a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, now we've got it, might as well get the, the guns out. Yeah. Oh, well, you don't match. Now you don't match, and that, 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 what, that's, that's, that's upsetting me. Although I love oh, it. Oh, sorry, I mean, Grant, as I said, though, Grant, and sorry I called you Callum a wee second ago, but that's because no, okay. Callum was who didn't come in. Um, but honestly, one of my favourite dates we've ever had on the show, both excellent questions, Uh <laughs> I absolutely. Yeah, well, that, but that's what that's what happens when you get like two performers yapping to each other. Yeah. yeah. I mean, to be honest, we've had a few. We have we have we've had quite a few actors on here recently. But brilliant, very good day, and hopefully, hopefully, we hear from you again if there's been a a wee second day or a wee socially distance <laughs> catch up, and we'd we'd love to hear, hear from you again. Okay. Sure, you will absolutely. Perfect. I'm sorry, I said Callum there, and it was Callum who didn't make it on. He chose Grant. Definitely the right choice as far as I'm concerned. As I said, one of my favourite dates we've ever had. I need to try and remember to get names right, Hannah, don't I? Um, oh, whatever. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I mean, it would be a first if we did anything uh, to plan on this show. So I'm so excited to say that we have got a volunteer man in the house. He's straight, unfortunately, for Alan backstage, but I feel like Alan should be... Uh, should hang in there. Um, but we do have a man in the house to, do, to go on some dates, so I think it's about time that we start the after show party. And to be honest, I'm just firing him on as many dates as we can possibly do until other guys get on board and share okay. some of the love. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. That has been episode three of Zoomy Groom. If you do want to take part next week, uh, fill in the little application form. I'm sure Hannah's just about to fire that link up across the bottom of the screen. Um, fill in the application form. We're still looking for applicants for all of our future episodes. Um, but now we're going to move on to the after party. If you want to take part, if there's somebody taking your fancy that you fancy going on a date with, drop us a DM. We'll try and sort out as best we can. And I believe we actually might be hearing from a, a previous contestant on the show tonight who's going to come and maybe give us a wee update. Yes, yes, we've got Will from last week. We heard that Will, um, yeah, I heard there's some gossip. So Will's gonna, Will's gonna give us some gossip in the after show party as well. I just need to see, say, I need to actually kick some people out of the studio. Um, the lovely Brian included to make way for all our data. So I'm just gonna say goodbye to Brian. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thanks for joining us, Brian. Legend. See you soon. Legend. All right, bye. bye. Thank you. And he's out. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'll slowly have to so as uh, people go on the dates here I might have to kick them out to allow for more dates and you know how it goes, fairness yes, and all that yes, but that's, yes. that's the end of my spiel but yeah, so if you want to take part of some dates if you want to keep watching them, keep hanging out we will be back after these credits
So we're back here for the after party. If you fancy going on a date with anyone we've had on tonight or any that you just happen to see coming along on one of these dates as we as we enjoy the after party, please let us know. Drop us a DM on the Facebook page or on Instagram or Twitter and we'll try our best to sort that out. Uh, I believe we've actually already got some dates on. Um, uh, but Vicky Lee, she's wanting fake doctors. We are trying. We are trying, Vicky. We are trying to sort that out for you. Um, but but we'll be we'll yeah we are we need um Fraser's disappeared so we need Fraser back in we've got some ladies waiting backstage to date him um Brian really really divided opinion there um what's we always angry. knew that was going to happen we always lots knew that. of people angry at me for having him on um I thought it'd be good to have a kind of nasty Nick type character do you know what I mean it's like we've we've got, got to have uh, people to compare ourselves to standards to to not live up to um so. Yeah, I mean, fair play to Brian for coming on the show and taking it on the chin. Yes. Um, um, just going to the comments to see what people are saying. Um, go I on, mean, I agree, with that. I agree with that one. Stephen and Grant were my favourites. And I actually, I, I want to go on that date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alan's a legend. Um, Grant, was, um, Grant was incredible. Grant was like a pro, a total pro. A costume, a costume wife. changed as well. A costume changed. I think that may I be know. a first ever costume change. I know, absolutely. Um, oh, some people are saying it didn't divide opinion, it was 100% dislike. But then Kyle wants to go on a date with Brian. So, yeah, I, I think um, I'm really guess from the eyes that Kyle's putting in there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, I think, I think it was one of those things that we always want to try and do something different and try and bring people on that are going to be. It, it certainly generated content and it certainly got people talking. Um, so. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Yes. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so Fraser's disappeared, which is good news. Um, I've got some some folk backstage. So I've got Becca backstage. Um, Becca likes to date guys and girls. Um, we had Debbie as well, who's in the same position. We've got Alan, who's looking to date um, some younger men. And we have got, um, we would love to have Kyle back to, to date some of our single women. So um, our Zoom to Groom referee is backstage making that happen. We've still got loads of people tuned in. So um, can me and my girls then go on as a couple? We've only I seen each other. Oh. We haven't e we've, we haven't seen each other for months is what I guessed out of there. Um, I, I kind of loved that idea. I was like, you kind of forget that although there's people out there that are actually in relationships and haven't seen their other halves in such a long time. Absolutely. Um, yeah, okay. Well, if, if Fraser doesn't show up, um, I know that my friend Pete and my friend Tony, both two lookers that are single, are also watching. So Pete and Tony, um, if you're up for it, Join it. Oh, Pete's on a poker game now. Um, where's Tony at? Come on, Tony. Let's do it. I do. It's got, um, somebody if not, we'll wrap up. Somebody else in the comments had actually um, mentioned about how Glaswegians really struggle with the, the subtitles. And I don't know anyone else watching on Facebook that automatically oh, puts subtitles on if you've got it on mute. The subtitles mm. are hilarious. The subtitles are absolutely class. <laughs> Awesome. I've got I've got confirmation here that uh, that Fraser is coming back. So we're just gonna all wait for Fraser. What do we want to do in that time? <laughs> Should we talk to some of the, the ladies that weren't chosen tonight? Should we talk to um to Arlene? Yeah, let's actually I think that's good. Let's find out Arlene. Hi. Never, never, well, we didn't get a chance to speak to you at all. So uh, Arlene, my notes are over here and they're all over the place now. But where are you from? I'm from Elgin. You're in Elgin. Um, how long have you been single for? Uh, just over two years now. Okay. What are you looking for? Um, I'm not going to share. I really haven't been interested in anyone for quite a while. Took some time out for myself. So now it's time to kind of be single and ready to mingle. What a way to do it, eh? With a van, I suppose. <laughs> you didn't pick the best time to do that. No half jobs here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Arlene, we'd love to get you on some dates. And I think this it's like, great to sometimes have a chat and just get to know you a little bit um now i'm trying to remember what you did but my mind has went blank because so much has happened since we actually had you on um so what what is it you do i work in banking primarily i've been in banking for about 12 years now but i've just finished a degree in sociology and criminology because i'm interested in that as well so primarily banking but i like to know stuff and i like to learn things and I think it's good to be able to hold an interesting conversation. So, because as you get older, there's more to life than all the fun stuff. So, yep, just definitely. Just kind of expand. So, what would be your ideal date? And I don't mean who. I mean what. What would you? What would your ideal date involve? Um, 
well, it said nobody that was lazy and no mommy's boys, but um, somebody that actually can keep a woman on her toes. I want somebody to challenge me because I'm quite driven. I know my own mind. I'm very strong-minded and independent. But, you know, a rugged man that's willing to sweep me off my feet and actually knows what to do with a woman would be absolutely magic. Okay. I mean, I, li I like the fact that you know exactly what you want. I love that. And I said that earlier. I think that's important that people, people do say that and they know that. And I will apologise to Tim. I didn't mean it was a long 90 seconds. I just meant it felt forever because you're on screen. <laughs> sometimes it goes quick. Sometimes it just, it, it you're like, oh my God, this 90 seconds is the longest 90 seconds of my life. I'm telling you, 90 seconds in lockdown last longer than 90 seconds normally. So so I, I just like taking a piss. Don't worry about that. Yeah. And I definitely have a good sense of humour. That would be one of my strong yeah. points. Hopefully we can you get know it's you're amazing. There's loads of love for you in the comments, Eileen, and everyone saying that you deserve That's a lovely guy. That's because Elgin's watching. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> oh, think as well. He didn't know. Hi, Eileen's dad. Hello. Um, there's no man good enough for my daughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, oh, they've got to impress the dad. Hopefully that won't put any men off. We've got some guys coming into the studio for more dates, so um, hang backstage, Eileen, and we'll get you on a date very soon. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you later. And um, we also we also need to meet Patricia, who who sadly missed her slot earlier and is is still looking for a date. So let's uh, get a bit of chat with Patricia. Yeah, I had a bit of technical issues. I forgot to press the start broadcasting button. Oh, we've still we've still got a blank screen as well, Patricia. I can I can hear you perfectly fine, but I can't see you. Oh, that's not good. I can see her. See if can see. I can't. Oh, there we go. There we go. Little bit. That little bit. We're, we're there. We're back. Patricia, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Not bad. So Patricia, where are you? I'm in Fort Troas. I'm in a little village outside of Inverness. Fort Troas? Never even heard yeah. of it. Yeah, it's tiny. <laughs> yeah. Not a I, lot mean, I saw that on the notes and at first I thought it must have been a typo, but no, it is actually a place. Yeah, it's an actual place, yeah. <laughs> so um, how's your lockdown been? Shite. <laughs> Absolute shite, <laughs> if I'm being honest. It's just so boring. So what have you, have you, are you still working at the moment? What's, what's going on? No, um, I'm not working at the moment, but I'm ideally, go, uh, hopefully going to be an ambulance technician when I get oh, my yeah. driving license. Yeah, I saw that in your comments actually, yeah. Um, so how long have you been single for? Since last year. Okay, what are you looking for? I'm just looking for someone who can like handle my feistiness, like, because I can be quite sassy. I'm I'm very stubborn, like it's it's unreal. Um, I just want someone who's got good banter, doesn't take themselves seriously, but is very loyal. Okay. I like it. You know what you want, though. You know what you want. Um, yeah. Who would your ideal date be as an person? Who would it be? Zach Efron or Louis Capaldi, actually. Zach Efron Lewis or Louis Capaldi. Those are yeah. Those are two different people. Very different people. Yeah, well, I would prefer Louis Capaldi, if I'm being honest. He's got the banner. He's got the banner. Yes, exactly. Oh. So, Patricia, we'll try and get you some dates. Just hang backstage and okay, we'll be back you. with you. Sweet Bye. Evening. Um, We've got Will back for his gossip, Andy. Oh, yes. I'm dying to hear this because I, I don't know what it is. So, so let's get him in. Yeah. Will, how are you doing? Hi, yeah, yeah. I'm good. How are you guys? Good. I'm just going to bring everyone up to speed. So, Will, you were on last week. Is that right? Was it yeah, you were on last week. Um, but in between that, we're on a quiz, which is kind of like who wants to be a millionaire. And you were one of the contestants on that. And I just off the cuff asked you if there'd been any DM sliding happening and you maybe let slip that there has been. So how's it been since last week? Yeah, it's been good. Uh, yeah, I got a, I got a DM from it um, and started messaging that person. And it's, it's been going good, yeah, from being no, on some degree. You're, be, you're being very coy, though. You... <laughs> what um, so so it wasn't someone that i was on a date with it was someone who was watching the show oh um, nice so, so i mean you just put yourself, out there, put yourself out there and and something has came of it yeah no absolutely so so yeah so it wasn't anybody I actually went on a date with but someone was watching and i got a message and uh yeah it's been going good so so yeah there's oh. a potential for that to happen if you go on the show as well i guess i love it i love it um so have you are you have you set up a date? Are you going to go and have a date? As uh, possibly, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I can't say too much, but yeah, maybe. Are they there? What right now? Yeah, you just keep looking up there, and I don't know if somebody's watching you. Do you have no, a gun no. to your head, Will? 
Do you have Sorry? a gun? Blink twice if you've got a gun to your head, Will. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I love it. Thank you very much for coming back and giving us the gossip. And by the way, actually, I do need to remind you, you did win something on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire that we did, but you've not, DM'd, you've not DM'd me your address, so you need to do that, okay? All right, okay, I will do. Thanks, Alan. DM'd your address. Thanks, Will. Cheers. Speak right, to you soon. Bye. I love it. I love it. That makes me so happy. Yeah, don't Thank know if you, Tim. Tim has brought the Jack Daniels. Kyle's in the comments and he's saying, it's, I'll say it because he's being shy, but it's uh, Kyle and Will are official. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Um, well, at least, you know, at least some of our gay contestants are hitting it off. It's obviously not my area. Like, I thought I would... I thought I'd be doing, I think if, if enough people applied, I would get some amazing matches. But as it is, I'm kind of, you know, I'm not dealing with, um, I, Alan's raging at me. Like, I got Alan back on, he's needing more, he's needing more dates. Look at him, medical student and absolutely gorgeous. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm penning a message throughout this chat. I'm leaving. I've got to go watch that Eurovision movie on Netflix. I'm done. <laughs> oh, fair play, Alan, fair play. Well, listen, don't, um, stick with us, right? You're going to be no, back in the... In the no. I don't know. I'm Alan, you, Alan. You're, the original. you're the original. We we will not Peter stop this until we Hannah, have Hannah, 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 you we'll I'm joking. I'll probably be back next week. I'm, I'm we'll just... I'm yes. Back, actually. Aye. You go. Thanks, Alan. Don't worry. We will find you love before the end of Series 2. Right, see you guys. See guys. later. Love Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Um, I'm very, very happy to report that Fraser is back in the room. Um, and he looks great. He looks really great. Um, here we go. Hi, Hi, you? Can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you fine. How are you? I'm doing well, mate. How are you? Good. Fraser, where are you? Uh, I'm currently in Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Um, so what do you, what'd you do, Fraser? Uh, I, work on a, I work on a farm. A farm? Cool. I like it. A farm in Edinburgh, though? Where the fuck's the farms no. in Edinburgh? If I'm honest, I, I don't really live in Edinburgh. I'm in Edinburgh tonight, and I'm in Edinburgh just now, but I work on the farm in the kind of Perthshire area. Oh, okay. Cool. What do you do on the farm? Don't say I'm a farmer. Uh, if I said, yeah, if I said I was a farmer, would that, yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm a potato farmer. Love it. Love it. Um, so, how long have you been single for? Long enough, mate. Long enough. Too long? Long, long enough for me to be desperate enough to come on this thing. <laughs> Well, there's a few people you've got fans in the comments already, so you must be doing something right. Um, what's what's your who's your ideal date? Uh, Jennifer Aniston. Good choice, good choice. How old are you, Fraser? I'm 26. 26. Okay. Um, what would your ideal date be? Where would what would you do? Who would you go? Uh, we would do something pretty low key. I like to get to know them, go for a few drinks, something pretty light chilled. Uh, definitely not a movie, but yeah, not nothing too serious. Cool. Okay, let's get you on some dates then. Let's see. Let's yeah. see what Hannah's going to hook us up with. Hiya, I'm going to bring. Uh, I'm going to bring back Arlene first because that was some spiel she gave, and I feel like she deserves somebody good. And Fraser, I think you you might be good. I don't know you, but <laughs> you're Thanks, certainly going to go down better. Hannah, you're going to go down better than. When you want to talk to me afterwards, then I'm more than happy for us to look at that as well. <laughs> oh, stop it, Fraser. Behave yourself. Behave yourself, you Lothario. Um, Arlene's not going to like that. <laughs> yeah. um, right, Arlene, Fraser, meet each other. You're 90 seconds. Start now. Hello, Fraser. How's it going? I'm well, thanks. Yeah, how are you? Not bad, not bad. I see the other people are getting all serious with this, so you better hit me with a question. Uh... Would you want to come work with me on the tatty farm? Uh, I could roll about with you in the mud. That yeah. sounds fun. Do you like getting your hands dirty? I've got, uh, I've got a pair of well. Yeah, I can get my hands dirty. Great. No problem. Yeah, you can start on Monday, half seven. You're on the grading line. Too early. If I was to come on your farm, you would be working for me, not the other way about. I'd get you moving. What would you have me doing? I'd run a tight ship, just so you know. Yeah, but what would you have me doing, though? I don't know the first thing about... I'll get you to milk something. <laughs> Take your pick. It's not me. Sounds, uh, sounds like you're leading me down a dark path here, Ali. Well, farms are usually down Darth Parks. Dark Park. <laughs> not my farm. What's, yeah. your favorite, what's, your favorite, what's your favorite form of potato, Arlene? 
This is a, this is a pretty important question. Like, Scotty dog potatoes, but if I tried yours, I'm sure they would become my favorite. Yeah, like, you're a, you a roast girl, or you're like a chip girl. What do you like? Come on. Mashed potato on my roast Sunday dinner. Oh, I like nice. a good bit of beef. Plenty of gravy, yeah? Yeah, covered in gravy. Bisto. Nice. nice. Fucking 90 seconds is quite long, isn't it? What else happens on your farm? We're, oh, three, two, one. <laughs> Are you having a, have you got a disco going on in the background here, Fraser? No, I've got, I've got a partner next to me who kind of, uh, he's, he's kind of wangled me into this and I'm kind of, I'm a little bit caught off guard. I actually didn't realise 90 seconds over this is quite, it's quite challenging. Yeah, it can, it can be, it can be. Um, I did love the fact that she did say she was going to make you milk something and it was <laughs> at that, that moment the comments just went... Like wild, the comments were like, "Whoa, this escalated very quickly." <laughs> yeah. love she was it. real quick. Yes, yes. Um, are you you up for another date? I'm all, yeah, always yeah. Right, I think we're going to get Patricia in then for you. Hiya. Oh, oh wait a minute. Let's I can't see you. Yeah, hold on, Patricia. On the old thing again, where we can't see her. Is that a cat? Is, is she a catfish? Oh, oh no. It's it's done that thing earlier. I know you're going I to see her. Can, yeah, she's not on the stream, though, Hannah. I'm waiting. Are you Same back, thing. Patricia? I'm going to give you one more chance. It yeah. did it last time, eventually. Patricia don't, Patricia, don't let me down. Come on. Um, I'm going to try and kick it out and then add it again. Okay. I'll, count, I'll do the thing. You know how when you turn your Wi-Fi off, your Wi-Fi box off and count to five settings, and then you put it back on again, and it still doesn't work? <laughs> Hannah, when are you and you getting a nice I, I was just about to say, Hannah seems to be hanging about here an awful lot. For oh, <laughs> Right, Andy, go and leave me in hand for that second. Hey, Hannah's the one that's in control of the buttons. I can't do anything about that. Well, we've got Becca in then. We've got Becca. Hey. Straight in. No, Straight no in. Warning. Throw no me in the deep end. So, Fraser, Becca, 90 seconds. Starts now. Becca, lovely to meet you. How are you? I'm good. Please don't ask me about potatoes. I know nothing about them. I mean, you've literally just taken away my entire question rack. I have literally, like Toko earlier, I've got 45 <laughs> questions written down and they're all about potatoes. I've got, I've got so three I'm questions. Really, I'm, 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 I'm stunned. I've got nothing else to ask you. Have you got questions for me? Come on. Sure, why not? Okay, uh, my first question is what's your favourite food? Don't say potatoes. I mean, okay, right, well, <laughs> roast potato, mashed potato, <laughs> potato, dough for a while. Like, Are you taking the piss? No, this is what I do. It's my job. It's the greatest thing on the fucking planet. Potatoes are the greatest thing on the planet. Yeah, and if you say otherwise, then I'm not having a second date with you, honestly. Okay, we're thinking about a second date already. Well, not even I mean, finished the first date. I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I like the way this thing's going. Okay, okay. So, what's your hobbies? Uh, apart from farming potatoes. I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> No, I uh, I like uh, I like I'm a pretty active guy. I like playing sport. I like getting out with my mates and and uh, uh, I like traveling. I like seeing play different places and stuff. But uh, number one passion is uh, number one passion is potatoes. Is it your passion though? Is it just your job? I mean, if you I mean if you if, if you love what you do, they say that you don't work a day in your life and. Uh, I'm 26, been working since I was 18, but it feels like every day is just like a brand new star. I love it. Oh, that's really what's cute. Your, what's your hobby? <laughs> My, uh, well, I would tell you, but we're time's up. Uh, uh. Fraser, I, like, I, I love you. The, the, the punters in the comments love you. The potato chat is class. Like, anybody <laughs> can hold a conversation. I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm here all night, so... MD that can hold a conversation just talking about potatoes is a winner in my book. So, I mean, that that's 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 brilliant. Um, oh, there's Hannah back. Shocker. Oh, Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> my mum texted me during that. She was like, I like Fraser. Fraser seems like a nice boy. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not looking at the moment. Off Sorry. The Hannah's uh, off the market. Fuck, I can't, I can't even deal with it at the moment. Um, okay, so um, really, really happy to say we've got another. You've got competition phase, and we've got another guy um, in the room. But um, but we need to get you set on some more face with girls. So for once, I'm actually shouting out for more women. For more women. Can um, I ask a question? Can I ask a question of yeah. Fraser? Han, uh, Fraser, how do you like your potatoes? What's your favourite? 
Roast. Roast. Next question, Andy. Come on. There was just a lot of people asking that. I just had to. I just had to make sure that people were needing to know that people yeah. needed to know. Really, really, really crispy. Can't be it. <laughs> um, so, who are we going to get in next, Hannah? Yeah, I feel like we should get Debbie back if she's watching. Debbie, you can rejoin. And uh, I want to get um, let's get let's get Kyle on some dates. And Fraser, you hang backstage. A load of love for you in the comments. Right, I'm I'm backstage. Is this is that was is that was happening? Or? Yeah, you you're hanging backstage. No, no, are you are you hanging backstage with me or like what's the... Wait God a minute. What, I've got a I've got a thing for this. God loves a trier. God loves a trier, Fraser. Good effort. Good effort. Um, Fraser was class. I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan. Oh, hello, Kyle. How are you doing? Oh, hello. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Not bad. Um, you're back for more? I seem so. What's your favourite potato? I, I'm not, I'm, no, I'm not going to entertain, I'm not going to entertain that. Me and Fraser are not going to... I'm going to introduce myself to everyone from now on, even in real life. What's your favourite potato? How have you been since last week? Uh, I'm rough, Andy. I'm rough today. I'm hanging at Mars. I'm dead. Any particular reason or just, just cause? Heavy drinking last night. I am dying. Oh, well. I'm dead. It's, it's half eleven. Surely you can't be dying still. Well, I got in at about six in the morning, puked for like a good solid three hours till nothing but bio came up, and then I slept for like another 12 hours, and then I woke up again. And if Kyle is your ideal man, join us now. <laughs> I couldn't hear a word you said there. <laughs> I was just saying, if Kyle is your ideal man, then join us now. As you spoke about Bile. Um, oh. It turns out Arlene's here. So, Arlene, Kyle, you're 90 seconds together. Starts now. Well, that Hello, was totally on meant. Didn't expect to pop back up. How are you doing, Kyle? What is your favourite colour of Bile? My favourite colour of what? Of Bile. Bile? Yeah. Since Green, he was talking I'm about, about fucking... to see yours when you spew it up. I mean, <laughs> if you're lucky enough, I'll do it for free. Tell me, I'm trying to humour some friends here. Give me your best chat up line. Eh, uh, fuck. I'm, I'm not good at chat up lines, as you could probably tell. Um, I don't know. I'll just go up to them and say, hi, I'm a very insecure young man. You seem like a lovely woman. Take pity on me. <laughs> That's going to do it for you. That's I can imagine. And then buy them a drink. I'm sure that'll help. Yes. And what about you? What's your pickup line, chat line? Uh, I've got to get this one in for shits and giggles, but um, it's, uh, are you sure you're not Australian? No, because no, okay, you sure meet my qualifications. <laughs> It was better than yours. That that was a rough that was a rough pick up line. I really I was surprised that's... at the way it went though. Aye, that was that's pretty well. Oh well, if you thought it went well, um let's get Becca. Let's get Becca in. Hey, I'm stretching. <laughs> I'm literally stretching. <laughs> Have we started? Uh, I think so. Have we? Andy? Yeah. Anna? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hello. 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 How are, How you? are you? So last week I was watching, and you said you wanted a sugar mama. A sugar mama? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm not that type of woman. Sorry. Just gonna get that out there just now. See, Might as well. You come on here, and the first thing you do is break my heart. Oh. You should have been all nice. I, I am nice. I just you don't know. have money to fund myself. Never mind another human. Well, we become a double act and we find a sugar mama and a sugar daddy and <laughs> we rake in the money. Simple. Okay. Fair, fair enough. Good plan. Yes. Um, so, how, how's life? Really? How's We're going to do that conversation? Well, to be honest, I hate the lockdown conversation because it's always okay. the same thing. How's your lockdown been? Boring. That's right, always it. Here's one so I can rival Fraser. Uh, Fraser? I can't remember his name. Fraser. What, what is your least favourite form of potato chip? Um, 
I don't know, actually. I like chips and mash and roasties. I make really good roasties, actually. Um, oh. I don't really have a least favourite. I have a least favourite to cook with, which is sweet potato. But that's it. Right. Yourself? Okay. Uh, any potato that can fit in my mouth hole? <laughs> that's the weirdest, the weirdest chat ever. I know. <laughs> <laughs> It's fun. It's fun. It's a good time. I don't even know what to say about it. Um, I, f- I feel we're almost back to the, the old school there. <laughs> um, this is classic. Zoom to Groom says yeah, Davy. Kind of I mean. Yep. Kyle and Sonia. I think uh, Kyle and Sonia already went on a date, didn't you, Kyle? Uh, not a Scooby. Yeah, you did. Oh, you did. Definitely did. Does me, does me give a fuck. Right. Um, Kyle, I'm going to get a, a gentleman back. I'm going to get Fraser back. Not to date each other. I'm going to get Fraser back to date. Oh, look at the guy. Fraser's got a lad in. Let's get Fraser back. What do you mean? Is that a social bubble? Is that a bubble? Right, here we go, Fraser. Oh, hi, Debbie. Oh, Dead. hi, Sorry. That's okay. We've just joined. Fraser, Fraser just had to remove his social bubble um, from the background there. So Fraser, meet Debbie. Debbie, meet Fraser. You're 90 seconds together. Starts now. Debbie, how are you? I'm fabulous for seeing you. How are you? I'm doing very well, thanks. Yeah, you know like you were busy on your phone or something. Have you been? Are you, are you texting Torco from earlier? Me. Sorry. Are you texting Torco from earlier? No. Did you go on a date with Torco? I like his hair. He seems yeah. like a nice guy. So, are you into like group fun? Am I into what? Group fun. Uh, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm not against it. Why? What are you proposing? Just because all your friends in the background. Oh, I mean, anything, anything goes. To be honest. Does that? Yeah, yeah, anything, anything and everything. I'm, I'm, I'm all for whatever. Cool. What you so, <laughs> so have you had anything to drink tonight? Uh, no. No. I don't really drink. Do you what, not really what, drink? What about you? <laughs> no, I've had nothing to drink. No, I'm just absolutely man. Mental? Are you? No, I'm not. Oh. Oh, does that disappoint you? Are you used to, like, mental people? No, I just, I just, you said it with a lot of uh, confidence at the start and you just... So what packed. colour are your boxers? I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I was kind of sitting, I'll, I'll be honest, I was looking at my notes, I was looking at my phone, and then all I heard was, so are you into group fun? And I was like, holy <laughs> shit, <laughs> it, it caught me off guard as well, Andy, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, I thought we were going to go down a whole other route there. Um, <laughs> I thought maybe the alarm was going to need to go on. Oh, no chance. The funny thing is, if like a guy had asked that, I, he'd have probably got the boat alarm. But with Debbie, I'm like, on you go, hen. Um, yeah, we've got, got another. Stuff, isn't it? We've got another date. We've got another date for you, Fraser. Um, it's eleven thirty-five. It's actually pretty early for us, Andy. I think yeah. we're getting like flicker, maybe. Hi. Yeah. Um, what time is the graveyard shift? What's that? What time's the graveyard shift? What's that, that again? What's this is the graveyard shift? You're in it. Oh, we need to get a Grim Reaper. Um, we need to get a Grim Reaper, little guy. We've only got a. What do we have for you, Fraser? <laughs> but you don't, you don't get the sad puppy, Fraser, because you're cleaning up tonight, and I am delighted to announce that Paige is obviously just f- fucked Torkel off, and she's back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no, that's oh man, two, two empties. <laughs> Two empties oh, up again. Oh, 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 so I thought that everyone was coming for the after party. I just couldn't think that. So, do you want do you want to date? Do you want to date Fraser or not, Paige? Do you want to date Fraser or not? Um. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we can we can have a date. That's yeah, that's fine. I'm not fucking off Torquil though. That's <laughs> that's horrible. That's not what I was doing. I thought that we were all coming on for the after party. <laughs> I'm only I'm, kidding. Fraser, yeah. give me your best shot. Give me your best shot, Fraser. I, I always do. Hello. Hi, Paige. How are you? 
Thank you. How are you? I'm, very, I'm a little, actually, no, I'm a little bit disappointed that you said you wouldn't sack off Toroko for me. No, not not, I'm not that kind of girl. I wouldn't, I, I, I feel, yeah, okay. But I didn't realize, I thought that we were all coming on for a little after party. I didn't think that it meant that I was like, oh, no. What are your, okay. friends, what are your friends saying about it? Uh, they're saying, um, <laughs> ask me some questions. That's what they said. Ask you, okay, what's your favorite kind of potato? Curly fries. Fries? Curly fries, curly fries. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that is pretty good to be fair. It's I've never had a fried curly fry. Dogs or cats? Oh, yeah. Have, have you ever been to the Bourbon in Aberdeen? The what? The Bourbon. The Bourbon? Yeah, the pub, the pub, the bourbon. No, I've never been. Oh, Why? Is it's, it's, it's the greatest curly fries in the northeast, I, and no. I would know. And I would know. Oh so, yeah, you would know. Too. Yeah, you want the burger and curly fries best in the northeast? Get down the bourbon. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll well, go and check it out. It'll change, it'll change your life. How many how many friends have you got? Have you got over tonight? Uh there, there's three of us. <laughs> what about you? Uh, yeah, just 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 me and my one flatmate whose head's popping out there. I saw like four of you. I saw them uh, all standing up. <laughs> you must be mistaken. It was just me and my flatmate. <laughs> <laughs> you, I saw you all standing up and scuttering away. <laughs> no, no, I was just a glitch in my Zoom camera. That was all it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're breaking yeah. all the lockdown rules, aren't you? That was just medals, wasn't it? It was just the way the medals are lined up in your, in your flat. Yeah, literally, yeah. Aye. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a lot of love for you in the comments, Fraser, and there's a few folk just asking, can we they ask enough dates for Fraser? How about he just slides into my DMs instead? But that's not the way it works on Zoom Groom. If you want to date Fraser, get into our DMs, and we'll sort that out. Yeah, um, but aye, uh, thanks very much for bringing the potato chat tonight, Fraser. A um, lot of people loving it and thinking it's the best chat we've had uh, since we talked about Watsits a few weeks ago. Um, well, it was actually quite a while ago. Uh, but aye, class. Hopefully we can get you on some old dates. Um, and I don't, I have no idea if we've got any backstage. I see. I was right. Loads of, loads of mirrors in that room. Um, let's see Let's see what Hannah's saying. Um, I think we're waiting for a couple of guys to come in. Um, they might be Oh, Tony, get in, Tony, get in. My mate Tony's thinking about it. Um, not for a date with you, Fraser. Um, unless... Unless you're into you that. that. Unfortunately Fraser, not. Fraser, your second flatmate is the worst at fucking sneaking around. There days. he is. <laughs> um, Fraser, Fraser, <laughs> we've got people... That you were in the room two minutes ago, and now he's over this side. <laughs> we've got Leah in the comments, who looks lovely, to be honest, saying that your pals look no bad. Let's get them. Let's get them on camera. We're we're about to we're about to wrap up the after show, so let's uh, let's see your pals introduce them. Let's get the single pals forward. I'm on the single, I'm on the single pals. Yeah. Oh come on, get on camera. No, I'm here. It's up to date here. Hi there. This is Will. Hiya. Nice to meet you. Well, okay. you. Well, well, you I, know, I know Will's more handsome than I am, but. Let's try and ignore that, yeah. But is Will single? No. Nah. For fuck, get him to fuck, then. Get him to fuck. Chuck single, though. Yeah, right. Get, get, get Chuck in. Get Chuck in. Get Chuck in. Right, it's my, this is my mate Charlie. As he's going to He's definitely single. Mate right, Charlie, we can definitely get that. We can do that next week. All single, all single. That's it. Just make a wee cue. Make a wee like conveyor belt going past. All, all single, all single, single. All single. I'll stand up and try to come and sit in the hot seat. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's, like it's like a buffet. It's like a wee <laughs> bite of buffet. Or like, yo sushi. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ch China buffet king. <laughs> top quality lads. At top quality well, prices. Um, so I think, um, I think, I mean, I can see all of them um, Paige's friends like having a wee look at <laughs> Paige's friends. Oh, Paige, Paige, I think it's all. I wonder how much I can taxi if you're really talking to Aye, let's work it out. How much is a taxi from Torfins to, where are you, Fraser? Edinburgh. I don't know. I don't know. Get about to be fair, chicken drive us. Budget, Andy. I'll book you an Uber, right? 
<laughs> It'll be there any minute. Yeah, a few people saying social distancing, you bams. Oh, yeah. It's all family, yeah. Eh? We're family. Oh, oh, family. Oh, oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's a four bed flat. It's actually massive. Well, I mean, you're all quite close together, but listen, we're not judging. We we love you all. Um, we're we're going to wrap up there because I feel I feel like that's a, a high point to end on. Um, so, look, Fraser, we would love to have you back next week. We'll get some. I'm going to make you big again. We'll get some more ladies to date you. Yeah. It'll depend, it depend how uh, me and Fraser get on in the next week or so, Hannah. All right. No, All right, I hear you. I hear you. It'll depend how you and Paige get on in the next week or so. So, Paige, oh, if you are interested. So Okay, we'll go to the bobbin and, and see how it goes. We'll, we'll, we'll go to the bobbin and just order. Well, I guess get curly fries. No drinks, yeah. no nothing. Just curly no, fries. <laughs> what a day. I saw my favourite comment of the night there. Someone, somebody said, it's like generation game, hot guy, hot guy, cuddly toy. Hot guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Uh, that was brilliant chat. This is why we can't have nice things. Self-isolation. <laughs> Social distancing. I mean, <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, yeah, this is unofficial, this whole thing. I mean, I know that I'm a proper filmmaker and you properly do events and we both get absolutely sacked for this in our normal jobs, but normal rules don't apply, so... Um, that was brilliant. I had loads of fun tonight. Um, it was super stressful because I had so much going on. But um, yeah, like loads and loads of viewers stayed with us all night, which is incredible. Sorry to those that really didn't like Brian. I will take note of that. And I'm going to get an awesome female dating expert on next week's show who, who actually is a dating expert who blogs about it. So um, I'll, make up, I'll make it up to you, all you uh, 200 that are still tuned in. And uh, I, I think, if I you want to date Fraser. That, I think there's one thing that would definitely make it up to people. Oh, two things, actually. And that's Father Paul. Oh, Doc I can get him. Or Dr. John. Dr. John's taken now. I try to get Dr. John on this week and he's on a date. I'm like, Dr. John? Can you not just pretend he's single like he pretends he's a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him back. But yes, I Let's was get not, him back. Let's get week. him back. Another good Aye, week. that was fun. Mm -hmm. had, had a good uh, we've got so many lovely comments. I'm not even, I'm, well, Dr. John, loads of love for Dr. John. Um, I normal rules don't apply. Let's give air time to folk that don't follow the rules. I don't know if I can. I don't know if we can actually. Doctor John, Doctor John, Doctor John, Doctor John, Doctor John is taken. What? Yeah, maybe we'll get him on to just have a wee chat with us. We can definitely get Father Paul back, and we've got a, a love expert dating blogger um, who's been through breakups and then found love again. So I thought that'd be a really nice thing to have on the show as well, just to give us all a wee bit of hope. Um, get father paul back um so i um i've really enjoyed this thanks we really enjoyed it too angela um over to you andy and then we'll roll we'll the credits and the thanks yep thank you very much for joining us again that has been episode three of zoom to groom we will be back again next week 10 o'clock on from zoom to groom don't forget you can watch us on facebook youtube twitch catch up if you want to we'll be releasing a little highlights clip clip during the week again uh, stay tuned to the local press and if you are single and want to sign up head over to our pages at from zoom to groom on twitter facebook and instagram fill in that little application form and we can get you on we will see you again 10 o'clock next week <laughs>